Good morning, my scrumptious friends. It is 5.20 a.m. Let's wake up for Fudger. Hello, my scrumptious friends. Welcome to day 21 of Keeping Promises to Myself, a series in which I hold myself accountable for completing things off my to-do list, reaching my goals, and actively pursuing new experiences and things that bring me joy. It is past noon. Oh, I slept in. I woke up at around 11.20 a.m. Washed up. And then my tummy started not feeling so great. I think it's not happy with how much variety I had in my uh, <laughs> sushi situation. I had like four or five different types of sushi. Sushi. I had some soup. I had some, which I rarely ever have. And then I had some mango ice cream, two scoops of that. And then I had some other ice cream yesterday as well. So it might have been a bit much, but it was a good time. Yesterday, Alhamdulillah, was a good day. You know, now that I've, I'm more awake, I can actually talk to you guys a little bit about my experience that I had yesterday at Lavelle. <laughs> I was waiting in the guest list line and there was a guy that was behind me that started uh, you know making conversation to me with me and he was he was very nice he said are you meeting friends in there and I said no and listen keep in mind that I'm already nervous because I'm looking around and I feel out of place right I feel like these people seem like they know what they're doing Lavelle is a place that they normally go to they're dressed really well I kind of felt like I wasn't meeting the sparkly tire vibe so i'm already in my head right i'm already just hyper observing everything so this guy's trying to make a conversation with me and i'm just like clearly in my nervous zone so i said no i'm actually here by myself just trying to do something out of my comfort zone he's like oh wow okay he's like do you want to come drink with us and I said, oh, I actually don't drink. And I was like, I'm just going to go up there and actually have some mocktails. So he said, oh, it's a, that's okay. Do you want to just still hang out with us? And I said, oh, no, it's okay. Thank you so much. I freaking hope I said that because all that's going through my head now, like the next day is I not thank him for offering or was I so nervous that I just said, oh, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice or something. I, I, I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said, but I would like to think that my general natural response was oh it's okay thank you so much or maybe i'll find you inside or something like that I, I i can't remember what i said i don't know i was so nervous i don't know what i said and then the laughing fit that i had guys as soon as i got into the lounge area before i even started recording i had like a solid two minutes of laughing on my own but the cool thing is literally no one noticed no one even looked at me. It was all in my head. Another thing I found so interesting was trying to make an order. I asked a couple of the servers, like, where do I get my mocktail from? How does it work? And they said, oh, you just have to go to the bar. So, okay, I approached the bar. And the problem is the bar is lined by seats. All the seats are taken. So if you truly wanted to make an order, there's two options. This is what I've observed. Either you stand behind these people that are already seated at the bar and you yell at the bartender to try to get their attention and say, excuse me, I'd like a key lime a mocktail mojito, please, which is so awkward. Or you shimmy <laughs> in between them and you like lean forward and say, excuse me, excuse me, can I have, oh, it was so chaotic. For, for a person like me that tries to be, you know, well-mannered and respectful of people's personal space and all that shit it, it was so weird and i waited i waited i was like i don't like both of those options so i'm just gonna stand here and observe and figure out if i see an opening somewhere and you know take that leap so thankfully what ended up happening is um the two people that were sitting in front of me they ended up leaving so i had like two open seats i had a clear view of the bartender and then i flagged her and said excuse me can i please have this and this but yeah those were two really funny things that i remembered now that i've I, I woke up and i'm like in better senses i was gassed last night i think also all the energy that i expelled having all of these new experiences yesterday in addition to having uh the sushi and the itis hitting but pushing myself through it it really caught up to me and i was just super gassed by the time it was like midnight or one o'clock so i'm gonna get my lazy ass to the gym right now i don't feel like going but i have to keep reminding myself that this is 
a blessing to be able to move your body and be active. There will be one day in my life, if I am meant to reach old age, that I will not be able to go as hard as I do right now. So let's enjoy our body, show gratitude to our body by moving it, and let's get to the gym. So cardio B, which is today, says we've got to do one minute on the highest incline. So I was like, okay, normally I do six, speed six, I'm going to do speed five. Oh, I can't do one minute. I can't do one minute, bro. I think I'll have to continue doing the modified version. 30 seconds. It's wild. I'm going to attempt the one minute again. 30 seconds in. Oh, 45 seconds. I'm actually so proud of myself. I finished two rounds of that and I know that the exercise plan says to do six to eight rounds of that. But listen, there was a time when I only did one and I did it of a 30 second sprint for each of the rounds. So this time, actually did 60 seconds each time. So four 60 seconds sprints in total. Proud of myself, we're making progress. And now I'm heading over to treat myself for a manicure. Sorry, pedicure for my, for my toes. And this is what I'm having for lunch. Having some jalebi and milk. It's the end of the day and I've done most of the things on my to-do list, so I'm happy about that. It is almost midnight and I am on the couch, not in bed today. I did laundry today and so I don't have the bed sheet and everything to put on top of the bed. So instead of just sleeping on the mattress, I figured let me just sleep on the couch. I'm very proud of the things that I was able to accomplish for my to-do list today and the day that I had. It was super lovely streaming and having a relatively productive day I would say. Inshallah I hope the week ahead is equally as productive. Tomorrow is like an exciting day. We're starting a new volleyball league, the intermediate to advanced one. And so I should definitely get some sleep and try to be well rested for a long day ahead tomorrow. So that brings us to the end of day number 21. And inshallah, if I'm healthy and able, I will see you guys for day number 22 of the Keeping Promises to Myself series. For now, stay safe, stay scrumptious. Good night and Raven out. Bye guys.